How's it going everyone? It's Chase. Welcome back to a brand new video and in today we're going to be discussing an operator in Rainbow Six Siege that is currently so damn broken that she is trending all over Twitter for Siege and a lot of people just want her nerfed into the ground. But of course, before we get into the video, be sure to follow my Twitch with a link down below in the description. I just recently started streaming over on Twitch and I just wanna thank all of you guys who have came out and supported me. We're basically at an affiliate already, so I'll try to get those sub emotes out soon. Also, be sure to join the Discord with a link down below in the description so you don't miss a video and you can chat with me sometime. So I'm sure that if you've been playing the game since the start of the season or have just been keeping up with Rainbow Six Siege on Twitter, you came to realize that a lot of people are not liking Malusi. Okay, let me rephrase that. A lot of people are absolutely loving Malusi, including myself. She's insanely fun to play and her gadget brings a whole new playing field that we've never really seen in Rainbow Six Siege. The issue, however, is the fact that she is so good. She's practically overpowered, if not broken at the moment, and we're gonna go into why. So I've seen some mixed reviews over Twitter about what people think is wrong or overpowered with this operator, and a lot of people are pointing towards her gadget. If you haven't got a chance to play the new season or watch the new season or you don't know anything about it, essentially Malusi has three of these gadgets that she places down on walls or any stickable surface, and it has this huge radius that goes around emits a very, very loud sound and slows down the player. Also, it's bulletproof, so you can't really take it out from range. And this is the issue people are having with it. It has such a huge range, but the thing is, you can't really take it out without getting near it. I think the easiest fix to this issue is just, you know, knocking her down one of these gadgets to two instead of three. Three is way too much. She can basically clog every entry point to the objectives, and it's really, really powerful at the moment. Two would knock it down to being a little bit more balanced in that sense. I think this kind of nerf is very comparable to something like we saw with Goyo, where one of his shields got removed a while back because of how much it was used at defending the objective. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to look at is, you know, the ladder. It's her weapon kit. Her weapon kit is extremely phenomenal at the moment. She is the only three speed DLC operator who has gotten a nitro cell. And that's absolutely monumental because the only time we've really seen that is on operators like Pulse. But not only does she receive that, she essentially receives what is one of the best guns in the game at the moment, the T5 SMG, which is Legion's SMG. And it is an absolute laser at almost any range. It's it's very comparable to the MP7, which a lot of people don't realize. Also, as her secondary, she gets the RG15, which is Zofia and Ella's pistol, and it's an absolute beast of a secondary weapon. It just shreds through people, rips through heads. That sight on it allows it to make such good and easy headshots. Really, the only way I see of nerfing her weapon kit, however, is just taking away the nitro cell. A 3-speed with a nitro cell is insanely powerful, and then you add that to having one of the best SMGs in the game, one of the best gadgets in the game, and one of the best secondary weapons in the game and you know then it gets a little bit unbalanced she's by far the best roamer in the game currently and she is a must pick on every single team because of this kit as well as her gadget i'm actually very curious to see what you guys think about malusi so far in the newest season of rainbow six siege operation still wave comment down below if you think she's super overpowered and what would you do to nerf her also don't forget to join the discord with a link down below in the description as well as follow me on twitch so you can always check in and see me playing siege with my friends but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh i will see you guys later peace